What's up beautiful people? Welcome to my channel. My name is Nelly. If this is your first time here, you're absolutely welcome. Today's video is about two scholarships for African students. The first one is the Entrance Scholarship and the second one is the Excellence Scholarship. This website is called Study Green. I chose to share the information from this website as opposed to sharing from the university because the website breaks down the entry requirements and then just details about the scholarship. It's an entrance scholarship for African students studying in English in the University of Ottawa. It's an academic award. This is the host university. The scholarship is worth twelve thousand to twenty thousand dollars the number of awards several study level is for undergraduates you need to be african to be eligible for this scholarship this scholarship award is applicable to african students who are studying in english and who enroll in one of the specified undergraduate programs in the faculties of engineering science or social sciences this significant financial contribution to their education reduces their tuition fees by twelve thousand to twenty thousand depending on the program so what this means is they're not going to give you this money or even if they give you this money will be used towards reducing your tuition fee later i'll show you how much the tuition fee for this university costs, and then you'll see what the difference is going to be if you get this scholarship. All students who are eligible for this scholarship will automatically receive it upon enrollment. It will be applied directly to their tuition fees. Okay, so you see, they will just apply it to your tuition fee and then you'll get a tuition reduction. This scholarship cannot be combined with the excellent scholarship for African students studying in English. I'll tell you also very soon about this one. Now let's look at how much it costs to study in this university and then we can do our calculation to see how much more you need to pay if you get this scholarship. So let's say you're going to enroll in 2022. Are you a regular or a special student? Regular students, will you be studying full-time or part-time? Full-time, um, what is your legal status? So it's for international african students so international students um no next is for which degree would you like to display fees a bachelor's degree which discipline this program is for engineering science and social sciences so let's just find something here let's say for example engineering so Biochemistry and Chemical Engineering. For which terms would you like to display fees? So let's just try one term. Let's say for example, four terms. So starting from September to this, till December. Estimate. So normally this is how much you pay to study as an international student at this university. But if you get this scholarship, which reduces the tuition by 12000 to 20000 you can get to pay half the tuition or in the end, you might only have to pay 4000 which is way less than what the Canadian students will pay because they have to pay $4,833. The next thing I mentioned I was going to show you later was the excellent scholarship. This is a renewable scholarship which is offered to international students who are from African countries provided your average is 90% or higher and this one goes from 17,000 to 25,000 and note that you cannot combine both so you cannot receive this while receiving this you can only receive them separately now let's move to the university let's see how to apply to the university so that you can be eligible for scholarship this is the university web page on the graduate studies international applicants let's scroll and see the very first step is prepare to apply your eligibility for university of ottawa programs depends on the level of education you have completed or are completing as well as the program See the table below to find out what level of study you require for admission to a direct entry faculty according to the country where you studied. If you're applying to a professional program, you must contact the faculty responsible for it. Okay, so let's check by country. 
I'm going to use myself as an example because I'm an African. Okay, Cameroonian students are expected to have either a BAC or a GCE A level. And then you can see the requirements for other countries here. Check whether you meet language requirements. Let's see. If you're applying for a French language program and have not completed at least three years of full-time study in an institution where French is the only language of instruction, in a country where French is an official language, you must submit your official score in one of the following tests. You do not have to pass a French language test if you've completed your studies in one of the listed, the locations listed below. I think English is going to be the same as French. You have to have completed three years of full-time studies in English, and then you have to also have studied in a country where the official language is English. Let's see the countries that are eligible for English exemption. Next, check your program specific requirements and prerequisites. Please note that the requirements listed are minimum requirements only and are subject to change. Meeting these minimum requirements does not guarantee admission. Be prepared to provide additional supporting documents or pass an admission, audition, or exam, depending on the program to which you are applying. Check the deadlines and available programs before you apply. Most but not all programs accept applications until April 1st. The next thing is get admission information specific to you. There are different countries here. You select the one that applies to you and then you see what the requirements are. The next thing is to apply online. This just gives you the step-by-step -step process of how to apply online. You have to track your admission status. You submit the necessary documents and then if you have completed post-secondary studies, we might grant you advanced standing. So they might transfer your credits depending on the program to which you apply. Faculties that grant advanced standing do so based on your discipline, the courses you have completed and the length of your studies. So if you've studied before in the university, your courses might be transferred. So you might not be coming to start in Canada as a first year student. You might be starting probably as a second year student. This tells you how to be eligible for transfer. So you must have completed two years of full-time studies at the university, regardless of the number of credits. Okay. So this is all I wanted to show you today. This is me just encouraging that if you're an undergraduate student and you are from Africa, then you should not miss this opportunity to apply for this scholarship. Thank you so much for staying tuned with me. See you in my next video. Goodbye.